Okay, so let's have reset this uh, Samsung Galaxy J7 Refine from Boost Mobile and apply with any other J7 from AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro PCS, okay, and any other carrier like QK Wireless that they may have this uh, J7 Refine too. So we're going to use the volume up and power uh, home button. We're going to press these two buttons together and the power key, okay, so wanna press these three buttons together and as soon as the phone vibrates or the Samsung logo appears immediately you're gonna release the three buttons okay and then you're gonna um, wait a few seconds and then a recovery menu gonna be appear on the screen to factory reset this phone and it is very very important to understand that this uh, process will remove password pattern or pin that is blocking the screen of the phone and also, uh, everything in the phone's memory is going to be deleted. So like pictures, videos, contacts, text messages, email addresses, passwords, and downloaded applications. So make, sh um, make sure that you know your Google account and password associated with this phone because after the factory reset, you will require it to um, confirm Google okay in order to proceed and get to the home screen or initial setup because if don't then uh, you won't be able to use your phone will be blocked permanently so um, yeah it's very very important that you know your email address and passwords if you know your email you can go to any computer and reset the password okay so you can uh, confirm Google verify Google <coughs> okay you're already gonna start using volume up home button volume up home and power gonna press phone vibrates Samsung logo appears release the three buttons there you go so um, now using volume down you wanna scroll and highlight uh, wipe data factory reset okay and or enter or okay it's going, it's going to be the power key so let's go and press the power key and then next step is to confirm we, we already went through that everything is going to be deleted on this phone's memory so if you are ready and agree just uh, scroll and highlight yes press power key to confirm now at this point, uh, everything has been deleted on the uh, phone's uh, memory. So, um, automatically, last step is highlighted reboot system now. So just press the power key to reboot the phone. And it's going to take a few um, minutes, like five to eight minutes. For the phone to fully power on and, and take us to the initial setup screen so just uh, be patient and in case that uh, um, the Samsung logo has been stuck on the screen more than eight minutes. That means something is wrong. So uh, even the Samsung logo, Android logo, or Boost Mobile logo, and it takes longer than eight minutes. Uh, that means that we need to calibrate the motherboard. So just uh, long press the power key uh, until your screen goes off, and then uh, start over again the same process. Okay, you can do the same hard reset up to like 10 times if possible uh, sometimes we overload uh, web history or download applications uh, con well anything uh, that can ruin or malfunction the motherboard of this phone so <clears throat> sometimes we just need to um, do a couple times uh, until we're gonna be able to get to the initial setup okay And also, if um, if you experience a lot of drop calls or just your phone just go off suddenly, and that means that something is wrong with the motherboard, it's not Boost Mobile uh, service. It's not your carrier service. Just it is the phone sometimes. So 
you can actually do a hard reset so but before that make sure that you did a, a backup with your google account um, with your pictures videos contacts and so on with your uh, google account associated with this phone so after the factory reset you actually will be able to restore anything or everything with your google account okay so we are on the initial setup so let's go and uh, hit the start button and you can actually change your language in case that you can um, you want to start your phone with a different of these phones such as um, okay now let's go and hit the start button and now you you already have an active SIM card from Boost Mobile associated with the uh, tech number, TEC number. Just go ahead and insert the SIM card so you can really be able to uh, detect network and confirm Google. Okay, so um, I'll just go ahead and register any Wi Fi that you are have access to and uh, skip anyway. Okay, agree terms and conditions. Um, actually, we need to actually agree because if not, then we won't be able to continue. Okay, and now let's go and hit agree. Okay, activate your device. Um, if you already have activated this phone and to add the Boost Mobile account, your phone automatically will be detected uh, Boost Mobile Network. And we'll start the manual pro automatic programmation programming. Mean. Okay, so for now I don't have any any account associated with this phone, so this device has not been registered with an account. Do so you want to connect this device to an account for network service? Now you can choose yes or no, it depends. Um, okay, so now let's go and skip anyways and uh, a nickname for your phone that means that you can choose a nickname for your phone in case that you lost it and they in case your lock screen that and after many attempts Google will consider that your phone has been compromised and they want to ask to verify the nickname and if they fail to conf uh, confirm the nickname they want to be able to access to um, to use the phone and also they won't be able to access to your personal information so I recommend you to uh, set a nickname for that phone okay so uh, when you're ready just go and next protect your phone with a lock screen um, set up pin pattern password or face recognition uh, for now we can skip this step but you can do this also um, when you get to the home screen from settings okay so let's go and skip this one Okay, Google services, uh, I recommend you to have everything on to improve location and to improve anything that you search on Google yeah, engine. And the first, the first um, results that you're gonna show on your, when you search something, it is the one that is, is close to your phone. So um, yeah, I recommend you leave everything on so you can take advantage to every uh, Google products which is really really important and very very convenient okay so let's go and hit agree okay signing your samsung account if you already have a samsung account you can just go ahead and sign in or create a new account okay so on samsung account you can actually find your phone in case you lost it you can actually go and block your phone if you lost your phone so they won't be able to access to your personal information and also they won't be able to use your your phone in other accounts okay because you actually want to go to block the IMEA number okay and so yeah everything that you need our Samsung just learn about it and create a Samsung cloud <coughs> for that okay so now for now let's gonna go and skip this step okay skip anyways okay check yourself future secure your stuff on size and zoom a weather forecast okay 
so everything is gonna be okay when you're done just finish and all done your phone is ready to use all right so this is how to hard reset the samsung galaxy j7 refine in case that you lost your um in case that you lost um your lock screen credentials and also find my other tutorials about this one about uh, using talkback or disable talkback uh, restore google keyboard uh, set up emergent text message alerts and yeah anything else that you need with this phone uh, let me know in comments and please subscribe to my channel so you can have access to everything and also uh, like my video if this information was um, uh, was important for you, okay? Thanks so much.